Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. You'll never have the sacred stone. <laughs> oh, this you crazy mother. Hello again, this is Danny Lambert with Plush Republic. In the previous videos of this mixed panel uh, implementation course, we've been talking about so far uh, client side implementation. And in the last couple videos, we went through uh, alias, identify, and setting people profiles, what those things are. And now I'm going to show you uh, how those things actually work. So, as you can see on my left hand screen, this is an anonymous visitor um, who's visited a couple of pages. pages and these are the events that they've done. So you'll notice if I uh, you know, add a couple more of these viewed location events, and I refresh, I should have a couple more, and you can see it'll change the color of the user uh, based on their distinct ID. How I'm doing this is I opened an incognito window to make it appear like a new user so it's not uh, tracking me from my other uh, sessions. But at this point, I only have the distinct ID and I have all of these uh, location viewed events. Um, so now imagine that this user uh, went to go register or if you only had like lead forms went to go submit a lead form. After they submit this form I then know who this person is. So I want to be able to associate this new information and the new ID that's either generated from their email address or um, an ID creation on my application side and associate all of the events that are currently with this anonymous ID with the new distinct ID that I'm going to set. As we talked about, that's what Alias does. So a couple of really important things is that when you call Alias, it should only ever happen once in the lifetime of a user. And then everywhere else, you'll be calling Identify. Uh, so with, let's say they register now and they come back to log in, I won't be calling Alias again. I will only call it when they register and then every other subsequent time I will call login and it'll be able to associate all those events with that person. Um, so I'll go ahead and show you how this is done. At this point you have you know, these however many um, location viewed events associated with that ID. When I open up here and I uncomment this, as soon as this person were to click uh, sign up here or they were like the first ever time they submitted, I would uh, pull this email address or use the ID that's generated from my system and I would call mixpanel.alias with that new ID in here. And then from there I will create a people profile. Um, so I would set this type to whatever it is. It could be um, a plan, it could be whatever. This is a custom uh, property that I set. You don't actually need to include this. But in my case I would pull uh, first name, last name, or you know even username out of here and use these uh, default people properties for mixed panel. So I could create custom variables, uh, capture that information from the form, and I would submit it as these default properties here. You know they're a default uh, user property because they have the uh, number side in front of it. So I would call people set, and in this case I'll call them a lead. Uh, first name is equal to Mark, last name equal to Wahlberg, email equal to this, but in your case, right, you would actually take the uh, form submission data and you would put it into this people.set and then at the end I will say mixpanel.identify with that new ID. So again, either the email address which I'm going to be using as their ID or the ID number that your uh, system actually sets, like your unique key for that user in a table somewhere. What this is doing is saying take all the anonymous events that we have now and associate it with this new ID which is coming from the email. Then I'm creating a people profile for this person with their information and then I'm identifying this user uh, with this new ID that's created. And I will never use alias again after this point. I will only use mixed panel identify. So say this person, Mark Wahlberg, comes back and logs in. As soon as they log in, I will uh, call identify. We'll get into some more advanced stuff later where like you clear the session's information uh, when they're done. But this is the basic setup here. So I can go ahead and copy this and I will open up the console and I'll just copy and paste this. Uh, this would actually be implemented via Google Tag Manager or embedded into your page like this. But for the sake of the argument, so I can just show it to you very simply, I will go ahead and I will uh, put that into the console. So now we should be able to come in here and refresh. And if I go look at a uh, new location,
this event should now be associated with that email address. So you see the user ID is now uh, Mark Wahlberg at plushrepublic.com. What that people.set did is if I come into my users, I should now see Mark Wahlberg as a user, which I do. And within here, uh, I see that I've set his first name and last name, which came from these two, and he should have a type set to lead, which he does there at the bottom. I'll go ahead and close my, my video out for the rest of this. And you'll see that I have those seven locations viewed events now associated with him. This is what the alias did, is it took all these anonymous locations viewed before and associated them with that new ID that I have now, uh, which is mark.walberg at plushrepublic.com. Um, so just to go back over what we did here is uh, as soon as this user identifies himself for the first time ever, I will call the alias with the new ID. I'm using their email address. It could be the ID from your application. I will then create a profile from this person using people.set and you can use the values from that form to fill in here all the various things that you want to set for this user. If it's a uh, type, like a lead, a customer, if it's a plan, like a freemium, paid trial, whatever. Um, this is what actually creates that profile, which I'm showing you right here. And then I call mixpanel.identify with that new ID, which has to always be called with the if you're using people.set. And that's what I will use um, in perpetuity. Anytime this person comes back and logs in, this helps with cross-device tracking. So if this person logs in from mobile web or from desktop, um, that's how you'll be able to associate the events from each with the same person. Um, but every time from here on out, I will be using mixpanel.identify when they uh, fill out a form or log in, and I will never use uh, mixpanel.alias because I've already associated that for the first time. Um, so hopefully this has been helpful. And then next we're going to go into uh, people.increment and then revenue tracking for people before moving into uh, the next section, which is going to be server-side implementation. So hopefully this video is helpful. Uh, and go ahead and follow on to the next couple of videos before we get started with server-side and then working on a hybrid where you do both client and server-side implementation. Um, so thanks for your time. Oh, Stay tuned for the rest of the video.